aside from the Olympics, it hasn't been a good year for Rio. For weeks, firefighters, police officers, and hundreds of other public workers have been staging massive demonstrations in front of the State Legislative Assembly. The building covered with banners and heavily protected by the police is where local legislators are discussing draconian austerity measures to cope with a rising deficit. The potential steps include higher taxes, a delay in pay raises and ending some welfare programs. We, the public workers, active, inactive and retired, can't pay the price of a debt that was not created by us, but by our governors. It's a dramatic situation. Our October salary has been divided in seven installments. It's crazy. Families have bills to pay. Rio has been one of the hardest hit states as 15% of its revenue comes from royalties from oil production, now down as a result of falling crude prices. A nearly five and a half billion dollar shortfall is predicted for this year. Here at Rio de Janeiro's assembly, public workers have been protesting for days against the austerity measures. Measures, as some economists say, will not be enough to solve the economic crisis. In the run-up to the 2016 Olympics, Rio declared a state of calamity, prompting a $850 million emergency loan to beef up security and finish delayed works. But now, with the world spotlight off the Olympic Games, not just Rio's, but Brazil's leaders say bitter medicine is needed to lift the country out of its worst recession in more than a century. Lucrecia Franco, Rio de Janeiro.